We will cover how to demonstrate symmetric authentication on the ATSHA-204A using Atmel's Demo Kit software. The Demo Evaluation Kit allows the user to use ACES software on a PC to configure and evaluate the operation of crypto authentication devices. The dongle is available from Atmel, and ACES software can be downloaded from the Atmel website. When the dongle is connected and ACES is downloaded, you can see wizards that demonstrate various operations of ATSHA-204A. This is a screenshot showing one of those wizards. The objective today is to show you how to drive the symmetric authentication wizard using a challenge response protocol. In this wizard, the process starts by your typing in a challenge. Note that the ASCII representation of the typed challenge is shown in the challenge bytes area on the screen. Next, hitting the execute nonce button hashes that challenge with a random number, stores the result of the hash in temp key, and sends it to the client. The random number that is used in that operation is shown in the nonce randout bytes on the screen. Don't be confused by the concept of the temp key register. Just think of it as where the result of the hash of the challenge with the random number goes. That result is called a nonce, which simply means number used once. The purpose of hashing the challenge with the random number is to create a unique number, which is used only once, so that an attacker cannot figure out what the original challenge was. This is called creating higher entropy and it increases security substantially. Step two of the wizard is the execute MAC function. That is used to get the MAC response. MAC again means message authentication code. When the execute MAC button is hit, the nonce stored in temp key sent over from the host is then hashed with the secret key of the client that is stored in key ID. That operation creates the MAC response. The MAC response will be compared to a similar calculation done in parallel in the host, which is the next step we will look at. In step three of the wizard, we create the digest that will be compared to the response. Hitting the execute MAC button caches temp key, the nonce, and the secret key in key ID on the host to create the host digest. If the host digest and the MAC response from the client match, then the client is verified as being real. And that is the heart of symmetric authentication. In summary, caches are made on both sides and then compared. If the client is real, then the inputs will be the same on both sides and the calculations will be the same. Check MAC is the function that formally makes that comparison. The basis of this MAC validate concept is very simple and relatively little computation is required, making symmetric authentication fast. Speed is one of the trade-offs to be considered when choosing symmetric or asymmetric authentication. Because Atmel does all the crypto engineering, the user does not have to become a crypto expert. Atmel makes it easy to keep it real.